What's up guys? Welcome back to another gold making video. Today I'm gonna cover the absolute best gold making in the game bar none in my personal opinion right now. Uh, whether you're a beginner or more advanced I'd still suggest being in this market and uh, it, we're not gonna be farming because I never farm. We're, never, we're gonna craft, we're gonna utilize blacksmithing, leatherworking, tailoring, those three professions. Crafters mark of the first one gear, item level 262. It's amazing. Let's jump in. This is like my third video on crafters mark gear, but I'm not ashamed of it because it's so friggin good. It's so good. So these are my sales from the last two weeks. I haven't picked up any this, this week. We can see I made 2 million, 2.1 million. And I only repost once a day, and this is on a super high pop realm with a lot of competition. Uh, but the main reason that this is so good is you'll notice that there's a ton of entries here in the 10,000, 14,000 gold range. And these items only craft cost me about 6,000 gold to craft. So I'm making anywhere from from five to seven to 10,000 gold profit per item. Uh, of course, we're selling some for less, for like 2,000 gold profit. Uh, but overall, for the most part, we're selling these at incredible profit margins. They're selling super fast, as you can see here. I'll regularly sell 10, 15 items every time I click post scan and post my stuff. Um, so yeah, it's just really, really, really good. And the reason why I'm able to make <laughs> so much gold per item is because I'm utilizing missives. Now, this is something I've covered in the two last videos I made on this topic. Uh, but it's it's just so good. Uh, the logic is simple. If you've if you've taken a look at the, <laughs> at how the the missives shake out, then you see that for plate the most popular combination haste mastery is more than double as popular as haste versatility, which is the next one in terms of how many specs want this as their best stat, and it's more than five times as popular as mastery crit or crit haste, and it's infinitely more popular than mastery versatility and versatility crit, which don't even show up on the list. So everyone's gonna buy out the ma haste mastery gear, and eventually it run it'll run out, and you'll sell your own gear for a lot of a lot a lot a lot of money. Um, so that's the general gist. If you're not familiar with esports nutrition, and you're someone like me who uh, drink some energy drinks when you're tired or uh, have to... <laughs> your kids have kept you up all night and you're trying to get in a good gaming session, then um, I'd suggest this brand. It's um, founded by Jinji of the World of Warcraft community, uh, famed World First Raider, which is uh, one of the reasons why I wanted to partner with them, because they invest in World of Warcraft. They are from our community. Um, so if you're interested in that, head over. There's a link in the description. You can get their ELX energy drinks tastes great or the IGF in-game food for a meal replacement if that's what you're into sugar-free um, no fillers it's fantastic check it out oh so I'm gonna show you exactly how I restock for um, for blacksmithing right now and for blacksmithing I pretty much only do haste mastery and a little bit of haste versatility now sadly TSM doesn't support like using cancel or crafting operations so I have to do this a little bit manually so the first thing I do is I go to the first item and I add the crafter's mark of the first ones and then I hover over and I can see that I have seven of this item. Generally that means that I have enough, so I'm not going to restock any breastplates. And then I just do the same thing. Look through, eyeball, etc. And then hopefully if we jump down to some of the slots that I know generally are sell faster, like the boots, uh, they're not sold out either. Arm guards, also not sold out. Gauntlets, at least not selling. I guess I'll just have to craft one. Anyway, once I find one I want to restock, I'm sure we can restock some Shadow Steel helmets. Then I'll add the missives that I want to use. And um, for plate, it's Haste Mastery or Haste Versatility. We'll, uh, we'll do some Haste Versatility. And then I always use Progenitor Enhancements. Not sure if it's worth it, but I can craft these Aeolic Aeol Harmonizing Stones for 200 gold. So it doesn't uh, change the co crafting cost much. Um, and then I'll queue up however many I want to queue up per plate. I generally go about 70-30 haste mastery to haste verse, 70-30%. Uh, so maybe I want to do two haste va versatility and four haste mastery then, in general, if I was out. Um, and then I just do that, repeat that for all of the items that I want to do. And then you just shop for the materials. Now you have them on the um, in the task list here, so I can just open the auction house. Browse over here. Scan all. I buy the missives on the auction house. I don't care. I'm losing some money on that. It doesn't matter. I craft my own Aeolic Harmonizing Stones. 
Uh, and I, obviously I craft my own <laughs> crafters marks of the first ones because I, uh, I can't buy those. So when we buy all the materials, the big question perhaps for some of you is how many should I craft? Um, it depends a little bit. If you just have 100,000 gold, then go for one of each. Um, if you can only afford a couple. If you can afford to go whole hog, then uh, I'd aim towards working towards five to between five and ten for every item slot and have that spread out as much as you can it's very hard to keep track of exactly what stat variants you have in stock uh, but try to keep them spread out over the stat variants that are the most popular ones uh, that i showed on screen earlier just skew towards those um, and yeah between five and ten is a good number i usually don't want to restock until i'm below five on multiple recipes just because it's so time consuming to queue up everything so i want to do a larger crafting session uh, so i'll craft up to 10 and then i'll wait until like a lot of my recipes are below uh, down towards three four uh, of each and then i'll craft up to 10 of each if you don't have a tsm setup for selling these then you can head over to my previous video on how to set up tsm specifically for these items that you craft with missives because it's a little bit uh, evolved but i do have a video exactly on that topic um, and then you can just go to town like seriously this is the absolute best gold making market right now um blacksmithing jewel craft no not jewel crafting blacksmithing leatherworking tailoring those are the three professions you want to prioritize why there's six different stat variants six for every item and people only want three four of them the others are useless so the three four that are popular sell out and get expensive and people are willing to overpay extreme amounts extreme amounts um so uh, I'll show them on screen. They're also in my blog post on this market. It's linked in the video description. Uh, and there's the other videos that also cover this exact topic. Seriously, get in on this. You can make 7,000 gold per item. This is now way more profitable per item than crafting rank 7 legendaries. Like, it's more worth your time to craft these than to craft rank 7 legendaries. On pretty much every realm might even be worth more of your time to cancel scan i'm not sure how competitive this market is i haven't bothered checking um but seriously if you want to make gold right now this is what you should be doing